Hey everyone, it's Absent Ash, and today I'm bringing you the Mystical Collection box. Uh, buddy on Twitter, at Mayhem underscore Pokemon, brought this to my attention. Uh, they are selling at Target for $9.99. Um, normally I'm not too into stuff like this. It's a third party, I mean I do a lot of the third party six pack repackages, but the whole box stuff that I've seen before I haven't really been too much into I know the power boxes from Walmart and Toys R Us are pretty cool if you can get a good pack but if you check this out it's 25 cards a generation pack a coin 10 sleeves foil card and a mystery item now it's the mystery item that I am most interested in as you can see it says this box contains one of these mystery items a mini binder pin sample pack break card pop pack or shiny magic card foil foil now, I think we're all most interested in this pop pack here. And I know it's a super, super huge long, sh long shot that we'd get a pop five pack in one of these, but I'd say it's worth spending, you know, I'd say 40 bucks here for four of these just to give it a shot. I also am kind of curious to see what the shiny magic car foil is. I don't really know what that is. Only thing I'd really be bummed about is maybe a mini binder because you know how those things are. So, without further ado, I'd say we crack into these and see what we got going on. Either way, just seeing what's in them. Now, a little heads up. I went to two targets tonight to find these. And, or three targets, I'm sorry. They only had them at two. All three places had a fresh restock of Pokemon stuff. I mean, we're talking jam to the gills. And I could only find two of these at each place. Oh wow, these are hard to get into. That is some serious glue. So, I don't know, maybe that's just where I'm at. But they seem to be, they could be fairly rare. All right. Okay. Holy crap, what do we got here? Let's check out the random cards first. Here's what it looks like. I'm seeing something in the back. I'm sorry. Here's what it looks like. Let me collect these cards. Sorry, Chespin. That was the Chespin coin. And it just looks like a bunch of random cards from a bunch of random old sets. Looks like a lot of black and white, maybe. Um, Furious Fist. Ooh, we got a reverse crocodile. And a bunch of energies. I figured there'd probably be a bunch of energy in it. I won't focus too much on the 25 cards. I'm not really expecting much out of those. But I am... Oh, look at... What did I just say? I get the Garchomp, Salamence, and Gudra <laughs> mini binder. So that's mystery thing number one. Maybe they'll hook up a cool holo card. Now, this is kind of better. Maybe that's the best way to do it. Oh, Trying not to mess this up too bad. That is not a foil card. So my foil card was the reverse crocodile? I mean, it's a cool card and all, but that's a tad disappointing, especially when it's the binder too. And then last but not least, oh, we still got the sleeves too. We got a generations pack. I will open all those at the end. And we have some Steam Siege sleeves. Those are awesome. I'm going to have a lot of extra sleeves now. All right. Now, as you can see on this one, we can already see Squirtle, so. Man, these things are glued like crazy.
Sorry, I'm not working with that much space. So, I apologize for that. What do we got in here? Oh, oh. oh nice. I'll take that. Looks like the special mystery thing is a Mega Lucario pin. That's sick. Sorry about my lighting too, it's not the best today. I'm trying to improve it all as we speak. So let's do a quick run through. Just a bunch of basics. Some lightly played it looks like. Energy card, so at least maybe the foil is actually in the thing. Another Generations pack. More Steam Siege sleeves. I have a feeling these are all going to be Steam Siege sleeves. Which, in my opinion, I don't know if some people probably like them, so I'll probably get heat for this, but I think are the ugliest sleeves of like all of them. And a torch. So no foil card in this one. Telling lies. I'm starting to question whether or not we're going to be finding any uh, pop packs. Oh, wait. Nope. I was wrong. It is a superior foil card. Sorry, I had to look through it all. This is... Hey, what about the pin? Or the coin? Hmm. Missing the coin? Oh, well, it might turn up. I don't know where the coin is. So, like I said, mystery thing, Mega Lucario pin. Let's go on to the third one. I don't know how this, I can't really tell how this is going. If this is going well or going not well. We'll see what the packs hold. Whoa! Generations is usually pretty forgiving. Sorry about that. And yes, I shoot these all in one take. I have no editing. This is all done on my stupid phone, so. I'm hoping that'll change one of these days. I'm in the process of building out a room in my house so I can do a lot more of this stuff in a better environment with better equipment. All right, jeez. They are not making that easy. Good Lord. Fam, this one's putting up a fight. Okay, we're trying. <laughs> oh, classic. And man, seriously, I know they don't want the people to steal these things, but hey, hey there we go. That's a big positive. 20th anniversary sleeves. I'll take these any day. These are sick. Nice. I'm happy with that. I'm knocking stuff down. This really is kind of turning into a little bit of a shit show. I apologize. Um, don't have much space for opening boxes. Darn it. Looks to be another... Garchomp Salamance mini binder. Wah, wah, wah. Two mini binders so far. Seriously, there is nothing cooler than a Gudra mini binder. In honor of it, I'm going to put all the reverse hollows that I get in one of the binders. Maybe I should just fill up all the cards. I'm going to spend the last 10 minutes of this video just filling. And another crocodile. Or crocodile. That's hilarious. All right, I'm sensing a pattern here. I don't know. Cross our fingers. We got one last box. Oh, there's the, there's the second pin. And there's another chess pin. Wow. Anyone else see the irony in the name? Chess pin on a pin? Yeah, it's lame, but what can I say? late. I'm tired. Oh man, this do not give up. Oh, 
Look at this madness. Well, I guess one way or the other. We got a Pikachu pin. Stack of cards. Hey, there it is. A break card, it's a promo break card. Well, at least it's a break card. I'll take it. I'll take any break card, let's be honest. That's not bad. No pop packs, people. That's kind of a bummer. Oh, nice. And we got more 20th anniversary sleeves. So there you go, guys. That is the um, mystical boxes. And look at that. Another superior. That's interesting they're almost identical except the break cards at the two different stores so I'm wondering I don't know what to wonder about these I might need to go find two more that's the problem it's like a lottery they're kind of addicting so well, all right maybe we should open up these generations packs and see what we got we got four of them generations gives it up it's always been pretty good to me I've completed the set I even think I've completed the master set to be honest with you I haven't opened a generations pack in a grip which I should because uh, I don't think I have Meloetta or Genesect yet. We got a Shroomish, Olympia, Golbat, Fairy Energy, Poinka, da da da. Fairy, nice. The 9 billionth Alteria, and nice, Hollow Machamp. What? <laughs> That's actually really funny. It took me like nine months to pull this card. And I think I pulled it twice out of just some random packs um, over the past like two months. All right. Charizard pack. Anyone else get more stuff out of Charizard packs? All right, Fletchling, Clement, Imakuni, one of my favorite cards just because it's weird. Tangla, Paris, Rhinoan, Clefairy again, nice. Reverse Dark Energy. Oh, hell yeah. I'll take that, Full Art Mega. Nice. Awesome. Let's put it in one of our fancy new sleeves that we got. What the Gardevoirs are going for. I seriously pulled so many Gardevoirs when I was doing big, doing a big time generations push. I think I gave away three, sold two, have two in my collection. They just kept popping up. Gardevoir seems to be a very popular generations card. Reverse Crushing Hammer, Hollow Floet. Oh! <laughs> Nice. Wow, well the packs are really good. That's for sure. Hells yeah. I'll take a full art Zapdos. Once again, this is probably like my third. Or no, I think this is my fourth Zapdos. But I still haven't pulled an Articuno. I had to buy an Articuno. Or no, I traded for an Articuno. It's the only card I, tr or I traded for that, a Ninetales and a Meowth deck. I could not find those cards to save my life, or pull those cards, I should say. But I did a good trade with some good people, so I'm, I'm feeling good about it. Although it wouldn't be the worst to pull them. I do like pulling cards, having my collection be all pulled. But that being said, the people I traded with, I know took really good care of their cards. So it's just like getting a pack fresh card which is all good in my book. 
and we have a reverse Paris hollow meow stick. Oh snap! Holy shit! All right, we'll we'll take this any day. That's three ultra rares. Um, <laughs> that's three ultra rares out of four packs. Yes, please. Peep that. And a reverse dart and a reverse uh, energy. Well, my verdict on the mystical boxes is I'm pretty sure it's nigh impossible to actually get a pop pack out of them. They're probably super, super few and far between. You're more likely to end up with a Gudra little binder or a Mega Lucario pin. So, and it seems like all the sleeves are probably from this generation. Although a lot of these common cards are from black and white. So, I don't know. They're fun to open. I might go try to track a couple more down. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't feel pretty good about it. Doubled off all these, but like I said, three, out of, three ultra rares out of four packs. That is, that is amazing. So... Awesome. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in. If uh, you like it, please tell me. If you don't, please tell me also. And sub if you want, sub if you don't. That's all good. Later.